people have been asking me if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. What up everyone, Jay here. It's been a very long time, and I apologize for that. I just came back from seeing John Wick Chapter 2, and my god, was it a fun movie. Even with the shitty fucking audience I saw it with, it didn't deter me one bit. Now, if I had to review this movie in two words, it would be... BOOM HEADSHOT! BOOM HEADSHOT! BOOM HEADSHOT! Let me start off by saying I love Keanu Reeves action movies. Point Break, Speed, I can quote those movies for days. And people who know me know how much I love the first John Wick. I think it's the best American action movie in a very long time. And John Wick Chapter 2? I think it might have dethroned its predecessor. The movie starts off a couple weeks after the first one. And we meet Santino, an old acquaintance of John, who's asking to do a hit because John owes him in a blood oath, which ultimately brings him back out of retirement. Willingly or not. The hit causes a chain reaction in the mafia world, and now John has a price on his head. And the bloody headshot filled fun ensues. Though the charm of the first movie is how simplistic the plot was. It's just a guy trying to avenge his dog. This one is a hyper reality type scenario which could have failed miserably, but I think it fucking works seamlessly here. I think John Wick meets the Kingsman with a hint of Skyfall and the Warriors. If you've seen the movie, you know what I mean. What I love about this movie is pretty much a gumbo of all my favorite action scenes just put into one and timed by 10. Like the final shootout in Hard Boiled, the street fight in They Live, the hammer subway scene in The Raid 2, the finale of A Better Tomorrow Part 2, and fucking Enter the Dragon. What more do you want? Okay, some of you might be a little deterred by that. It's not done in a gimmicky kind of way. Within the plot, it makes sense. It's not a carbon copy of those scenes whatsoever. The action and cinematography in the movie were great. Unlike most action movies today, the action sequences weren't just fast, zoomed-in cuts edited together. The fact that the director used to be a cinema performer makes sense, because there are a lot of long sequences in the movie where you can see all the choreography and how much time it took to get every shot and move right. It was amazing, and you can see it all, and it was visible. It was, it was like watching a dance sometimes. Up for the acting. Well, this movie's not going to win any awards anytime soon. I think everyone did a good job. All the side characters were fun and charming as they were in the first film. And say what you will about Keanu's acting. When it comes to action flicks, I put him pretty high on the list simply because he gives his all. Dude can learn choreographs and action sequences like it's nothing and behind the scenes videos proving that. The only person I thought that gave a hammy performance here was Peter Stormare. But then again, when is he not? Thankfully, he's pretty much a cameo and out of the movie pretty quickly. What more can I say? It's a fun movie to watch. Even just for the opening sequence, it's definitely worth the price of admission. They do sequel bait this one, and I really hope they do it, though it'll be really hard to top this. That being said, if there is a John Wick Chapter 3, for the love of God, give Chow Young Fat a role in the movie. Just think about it. It would be amazing. Keanu Reeves, Chow Young Fat, holding dually, spraying bullets, taking names. Make it happen, Hollywood. Make it happen! Well, if you've seen the movie, let me know what you thought of it. Did you think it lived up to your expectations? Or do you think my testosterone got the best of me this time? Leave me a comment below, and until then, be good to one another, be good to dogs, or John Wick might find you. And until then, later.